Hey guys, Thrasher here, and today we're talking about the Arm Breaker with Infinite Energy, Android 18. Let's get into it right now. Okay, first things first, Android 18 is a melee damage dealer with an absolutely phenomenal stat spread. As of the recording of this video, she has the highest power level of any unit in the game period when she's fully soul boosted. Let's go ahead and open up her abilities and see exactly how she works. So the idea behind Android 18 is that she is an android so she'll work well in an androids team and she's also a female warrior. Her Z ability will buff female warriors and increase their strike, attack, and defense. She's a strike unit, that's all she cares about. So if we look at her main ability, it's going to draw an ultimate arts card, which in my opinion, Finishing the match with this ultimate arts card is probably the most satisfying thing in the game. Watching someone get their arm broken, their whole body go limp, and them just go flying off as they die, fantastic. The other two keys to this character, you want to have another android on your team, and I'll go through the team structure of how to use her exactly in a minute, but this right here, 20% to own key recovery when there's another android on the team is huge. That makes a big difference in her ability to pump out attacks, and then the other part is she does a ton of bonus damage to Saiyans, which comes in really, really helpful because well, her biggest enemy in any case is going to be a red unit. That is her type disadvantage. All sparking red units in the game right now are Super Saiyans. So two out of the three will have this Saiyan tag. And the third one, while he doesn't have the Saiyan tag, he does have the Super Saiyan tag. And there is an equipment that she can use right now in the Android event battle that you should definitely be getting. It's called Hia. And the third slot of that increases damage to Super Saiyans by up to 10%. So if you have that equipment on her, which you should, and this, you're doing 30% to two of those three red units, and you're doing at least another 10% to that third unit. So that really helps balance out the couple units that try to stop her. So let's go over to her arts real quick and, and look at those. So uh, Strike Blast, pretty normal. One of the things that they've changed, and let's actually look at her ultimate arts card real quick to show... Um, what I'm talking about is normally you see on the, the bottom right right there, um, it would show three red squares. It doesn't show that anymore. They've changed it. So now what this means is it will hit anyone, whether they're close range, mid range, or long range. But what she has to do is she has to make contact with the person before the damage will happen. So not only do they have to be in one of those three range slots, she has to get to them with the attack before she gets stopped in some way. I like that they changed that. The other major thing here is if you do hit someone with this, it's going to hit them with a plus five to their substitution count, which can really mess with their rotation as they're trying to switch out and get their vanishing steps back up, which is very nice. The other major thing here is because she does a lot of damage with her strike arts and she has very good key regen, assuming there's an android on your team other than her, this green card here is extremely powerful because it reduces the cost of her strike cards from 20 down to 15 and it increases her strike damage. And here's the crazy thing, this stacks. Uh, putting Ginyu on her team, I have seen this up to three times where you're attacking with a strike arts card and it only costs five, which is insane. And if you're getting plus 45% strike damage, she's just mowing through enemies, it's, it's unreal. Um, the other major thing to note is Power Blitz, if we open that up, that increases her key recovery even more. So she is an absolute key battery. Using her properly, there is no unit in the game that gets key back faster than Android 18, which is exactly how it should be. She has infinite energy. Um, like I said, we don't need to mention these last two. I'm not really going to go through the stats here. I will tell you that she has overall the best stat spread in the game. Her strike arts are phenomenal, and her key regen is is the best that you can get in the game period. So let's talk about what team she fits on. Right now she fits on what I call a variant of the female warriors team. Some people call this a cheesy combination. I don't think it is. I, I think it's just utilizing the abilities of the characters properly. So you use this sparking android 18. You use the new extreme android 18, the green one, who can give you the sustain you need by healing herself with her green card. And then the third unit you use is Captain Ginyu because he gives you extra green cards, which are extremely powerful for this android 18 and for your extreme android 18. And then your bench are just units to buff those characters up so you probably bring pan because she can buff both your android 18s your other two units it really depends on what you're going for the other team that she works extremely well on is this sparking android 18 uh it's basically a full androids team but it's this sparking android 18 sparking android 17 and then your third slot is going to be the only non-android in your uh group of six it will either be piccolo or sparking krillin and that's for the obvious reason that they can heal your team up and give you the sustain you need there are a few other variants that you may see her used in, she can work well in, um, but those are the really common ones. So the question then becomes, okay, where does she fit in the meta? 
The two teams that I just mentioned are extremely powerful. They are used in top tier PvP. I've seen level 40 plus use them multiple times. Um, so I would call her a top tier character used on top tier teams that are built to destroy all Saiyan teams. And I think she's actually going to get stronger when Perfect Cell comes out, um, probably in the next banner, maybe the banner after that, whenever he comes out. So she's going to be around for quite a while. She's going to be a powerhouse for at least the foreseeable future. She's an amazing unit, and I highly recommend that if you have her, you build her up and you use her. She is amazing. Um, that's really all there is to this video. If you guys have any questions, throw them down in the comments. I'll make sure to get to them. And if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.